Well, I thought I would get a chance to do the next step in my little project here with the sewing table, but rode my motorcycle and ran into a little problem with the turn signal here. I thought at first it was the bulb, but I checked the bulb and the bulb was okay. Um, one side was flashing and the other wasn't. Usually that tells you it's a burnout bulb 90% of the time. But I swapped the bulb out and it wasn't a problem. Then, basically, I figured, okay, it must be a wiring problem. So I was just very fortunate. I just started with the wires here and started touching them and pinching them. And somewhere around here, I got it to working again. So then by process of elimination, I just kept testing and testing. And I found out the spot was pretty much right in here. If I pinch the wires and move them around a little bit, the turn signal stopped working. And then if I pinched them a little more, it started working. But nowhere else along the wire was that a problem. So somewhere right in here. Rather than trace the problem out and everything like that, it's just as easy to just cut the connector off, get two new wires and some uh, heat shrink and some electric tape, and just I'll take this loose just to make it easier to work on, and I'll just put a whole new set of wiring here. It's not even 12 inches of wire and just soldering a connector on some heat shrink tubing so not much of a project but I'll take you along with me as I do the project so stay tuned for the next part okay in mechanic work a lot of times things are not simple but in this case it is super simple all I need to do to remove this is just take loose this one 10 millimeter bolt right here and the whole thing comes off and I'm probably not going to be able to do it with one hand without dropping this thing so uh, you're just going to have to uh, wait for the next part when I get it loose. Okay, I have it loose on the table right now and just a little hint, if you possibly can leave the screws in place as you take stuff apart, that way laying them down somewhere, which I tend to do, and then where did I lay that down? I can't find it, so if you can leave it in the spot you took it out so that it's there when you get back, that's the best way to do it, I've found. So Now it's a matter of just taking the lens off. It's just... Um, Two little screws, take the lens off and now have access to the other end of the wire to put a new wire. Okay, now the lens is off. Same thing with the lens. Leave the two screws in place if you don't have a reason to have to separate them. Leave them together. So now it's a matter of just this piece here just comes out. I may take the bulb out just to not be in my way. And there you can see there's the other ends of the wire. So now all I have to do is just substitute another. If I don't have black and white, I'll probably use black and red instead and just substitute those for it and just pull it through the little got a little uh, rubber piece there and then put the new wires in place okay I only had a red and black wire not a white and black wire so I took the grommet off the little thing and then fed this through the grommet that I'm going to feed the wire and reattach the grommet there and that way I'll be able to do the inside and solder that shrink, shrink, shrink wrap it and all that kind of stuff so that's the next step. Okay, a very step, important step to remember is before you start the soldering the wires together, put your heat shrink tubing on first. I'm going to cut this in two and put two pieces of heat shrink tubing here to put these so that these will be isolated, insulated, but also a bigger piece slip over both wires all the way down so once these two or soldered together it heat shrinks both of them together all as one wire so there will be two smaller pieces of heat shrink tubing and one larger piece of heat shrink tubing and I will show you in a minute how that's going to work out okay here are the two smaller pieces of heat shrink tubing here is the larger piece of heat shrink tubing they're just loose on there after I solder these connections I'm going to slide these two pieces up around the connections one here one here and then heat shrink them and then after that slide this piece up over both wires and heat shrink that down. You can use just a cigarette lighter or a heat gun if you have a heat gun but uh, most people just use a cigarette lighter so now on to the soldering part.
I got it attached right now. All that's left is just to tighten up this screw. I'll probably loose this loop, loop this around and wire tie it so it looks a little bit neater. And we will test out and see how my wiring job did. Turn on the key. Flip the turn signal. And there we go. Now this is where I was pinching it and it would stop working right. No more. This is where the problem used to be and it no longer is.